Do you guys want to look fabulous for that Christmas party this year, but struggle with what look to actually do for it? Then definitely make sure you guys keep watching so you guys can learn how to create this very festive and very blingy fun Christmas makeup look this year. For Makeup Made Simple, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell button so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video on Saturdays. I know what you guys are thinking, but trust me, this is going to be a super easy look that you guys can recreate on yourselves. And it's definitely a timeless look that's the best around the holidays especially. So I'm starting out by priming my eyelid with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm also letting it set down for a couple minutes so that it dries. So for today's look I'm actually using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette which I actually talked about in one of my last videos, my Sephora Christmas Gifts list. So make sure that you guys click on that. I'm going to leave a card up here so you guys can click on that video if you want to check it out as well. So first things first, I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange and applying it into my crease in back and forth strokes with a fluffy blending brush, just like this one here from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes collaboration. So I've learned a little trick recently that I really want to share with you guys. If you actually pack that Burnt Orange color into the crease area with that brush, tap off the excess and then blend out the color with the same brush. When you do that, you get a good even pigmentation right away and it really helps to blend it out, not leaving behind any stroke marks on the lid. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deepen up the crease with the shade Sienna. Why we do this is that we wanna create dimension in the eye look and make it look a little bit more interesting as opposed to flat, and that would happen if we only used one shade. So this time I'm taking a slightly smaller fluffy brush that is a little bit denser and will pack on the shadow exactly where I want it to go, right in the socket of my crease. Again, I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and blending that color just in that area underneath that burnt orange shade that we first laid down. To blend both of these shades together even more, I'm gonna take the color orange soda in the palette and with a super fluffy crease brush like this one that I have from Sephora, I'm swiping back and forth over both of the colors and blending them together even more seamlessly. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Cypress Umber, which is a really nice deep brown shade. I'm gonna to switch to a very small detailed pencil brush. I really like this one from, again, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes collaboration. It's kind of the perfect brush for this part. I'm packing that Cypress Umber shadow in the outer third of my eye, in pressing and patting motions till it starts to blend itself together. You can also use this brush in tight circular motions. Again, it'll just help the whole blending process. I also start working that shade little by little into my crease area, going again back and forth in those windshield wiper motions, but keeping it very, very tight to only that outer third of my eye. So the next step is definitely my favorite part of this whole tutorial. It really makes the entire look come together. We're gonna use this shade here called Bronze. It is a gorgeous true gold shade, even though it's called Bronze, that is going to be the star of this whole eye look. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush like this one from Luxie Brushes to pack the shadow on the rest of my eyelid. So the trick to getting the shadow to actually stick on your eyelid is you actually want to load the shadow up on the brush and then spritz it with a finishing spray like this one from MAC. It's called MAC Fix Plus. So begin to start packing that bronze shade all over your eyelid. If you want a little extra pigment and the brushes just isn't doing it for you, I sometimes like taking my index finger, swirling it in the shadow, and then I begin packing the shadow on my eyelid. If you happen to get a little bit of shadow in your crease, the I should say the gold shadow in your crease anyways, don't worry about it. Just grab one of the crease brushes that you were using before and use it to go back and forth through the crease to swipe away any of that gold shade. So the next thing that you wanna do is take the shade Tempura, which is a really nice, like creamy white matte shade. And you wanna use a flat shader brush, kinda of like the Luxie one that you already used. Um, just make sure you clean that brush off first if you are gonna double use brushes. I also really like this one from e.l.f., which is the one I'm gonna be using today. So apply that creamy white shade to the top of your brow bone just underneath where your eyebrow naturally arches in the middle. This adds highlight to the brow bone and gives the illusion that your eyes are more open, awake, and lifted. Next, take any eyeliner that you guys would like to use. You can even take the black shade in the palette called Noir on a liner brush just like this one from Wet n Wild and run it as close to your lash line as possible. What you're doing is you're giving your lashes extra definition before you go ahead and apply mascara. For myself, I'm going to use the felt tip liner from Clinique because it's just kind of my favorite one to use right now. If you guys would like a tutorial on how to actually use a felt tip liner to do your liner instead of using shadow or a regular eyeliner pencil, I would be happy to do that. Make sure you guys comment down below with felt tip please if you guys would like to see a video on how to use a felt tip liner. 
So the last step for my eyes as of right now, I'm going to take that little detailed pencil brush again, and I'm gonna dip it into that shade Noir. I'm gonna place and pack that shadow in the outermost corner of my eye and blend it down into the eyeliner that I just applied, like so. Even though it's a really minor step, this extra shadow adds a ton of dimension and drama to this look, and if that's something that you're going for, trust me, it is worth the extra step. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face makeup for you guys, and I will be back for under eyes, mascara, as well as lips, so I'll see you guys in a sec. To finish up my under eyes, I'm taking that shade Cypress Umber on that detailed pencil brush and I'm going back and forth as close to my lash line as possible. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy pencil brush just like this one from Acosta Cosmetics and I'm going to dip into the shade Sienna. I'm going to blend just below Cypress Umber and blend the two colors together. You can also take one of the big fluffy crease brushes that you used in the beginning, and mind you, completely clean, and swipe back and forth to help you blend as well. Again, if you're finding any harsh lines or anything there, this brush will take care of that for you. And for the total finishing touch, I'm going to take the shade Glistening on my index finger and start applying it to the inner corner of my eye to highlight and open up the eye area. You can also use a brush too if you don't want to dig your fingers into the palette and apply it on your lid. I also like using that too. I'm going to finish off the eye lick with two coats of mascara. Right now I've been using the Milk Makeup Mascara and I've really been liking it a lot, especially for my bottom lash line. And at this point too, you can also apply false lashes, but I'm just going to keep this super beginner friendly and we're going to skip over that step completely. Now we are ready for those classic holiday red lips. Today I'm going to use the liquid lipstick from NARS called Star Woman because this formula honestly stays put for a very long time even through eating and drinking. Because it's a red lipstick I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first using any red lip liner that you guys have so it helps me stay inside the lines and then you won't potentially have any of the product bleed past my lip line. Next I just start filling in my lips using Star Woman with the doe foot applicator that already comes in the tube. I'm just following the paths I've already created using the lip liner. I have a huge tip for you guys if you are having trouble applying a red lip color. If you take an angled liner brush, again similar to the one I already showed you guys from Wet n Wild, taking some of that lip color from the doe foot applicator and brushing it onto the outer corner of your lips or even all over to create that really crisp and even line. I do this on myself and my clients all the time when I'm struggling to create that perfect line. The angled brush makes it go on perfectly because the angle that it creates. And then you guys decide, either keep it matte to have that long lasting finish, or if you want to add a little bit of shine, a little bit of bling, and still want that finish as well, just add a beautiful golden gloss on top. So that's it guys, now you've learned how to create this super fun, easy and festive look for your next Christmas party. And now that you guys know what to do for your Christmas look, make sure you guys stay tuned for next week's video where I'll be, te well I won't be teasing, I'm teasing it now, but I will be doing a New Year's Eve look for you guys, again this super easy to recreate and will be perfect for you guys if you're going out, if you're doing anything fun on New Year's this year. Please hit that thumbs up button if you guys liked this video today, also make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video on Saturdays. I would also love it if you guys would share this video with any family or friends that are looking for a super fun and easy look to recreate for this holiday season too. And make sure you guys comment with hashtag Christmas Made Simple if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Thank you guys again so much for watching today. I hope that you and your family have a wonderful, happy holiday this year. And I will catch you in my next video before the new year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. Thank you.